Hey, it's uh, it's been a while since I've done life updates and things like that. <laughs> I know I kind of keep things sort of in the dark where it's just like, here's a Tumblr video, okay guys, see you later, bye. Or just give you updates of how Cosmic Wonders is doing. Um, I felt like it was time to sit down and talk a little bit more personally about everything that's been going on in life without oversharing, obviously, but just so you guys aren't in the dark of what's going on behind the scenes. The first big question I get, uh, at least just with Cosmic Wonders crowd, is when is episode two coming out? Because I know I share a lot of stuff. I know I do a lot of small little silly things. And it also, oh, and it always comes back to when are you going to bring out episode two? And honestly, I am trying to do it to the best of my abilities with everything else that's been going on. I, I think I've talked about this before on streams and everything like that, but in terms of most of the music, the sound, animation, drawing, everything like that, that falls within my hands. And it's not trying to be like, I know how this is exactly going to work, so I want control of it. It's because... <laughs> The amount of money Cosmic Wonders is making right now and how much I could throw into it, majority of the budget is going to the voiceover talents. I cannot afford anyone else at the moment. But it's just not. And I don't want anyone to try to do the work for free. So that's why I don't take up any offers like, I'll do it for you for free. No, I believe everyone should get paid what they are owed for the show. And because of that, I take on more responsibilities than I can muster in the span of trying to meet the deadlines to get the episodes up, while also trying to gather money for it through other means, aka the late night Tumblr posts, which is why you've been seeing that more frequently than usual. And also, uh, the way YouTube has been lately in terms of ad revenue i've also had to do more just so i can you know pay andy fairly and everything like that and then the other kicker is i've been trying to move into my own space again and the place i've been looking at has been going through renovations and what started as like a two-month project has now been rolling into almost over a year so I've been putting things I wanted to do on the back burner, like more streams and more behind the scenes stuff, and even other things to do on this channel besides like my Tumblr, which is another subject I want to get into. I love doing the Tumblr videos, I really do, but I have been wanting to do other things so badly. Like you have, majority of you have seen the video I put up of all the other things I've been doing lately. like. At this point, I've been doing this for so long, some people forget I was a professional voice actor first and a YouTuber second. Now it kind of seems like the pendulum has swung in the other direction where more people see me as a YouTuber than they see me as a voiceover talent. And that can get confusing and a little upsetting when you are the person who's been like, you know, who gets messages all the time saying, well, I can't believe you got this gig because I didn't think they would hire a YouTuber for this job, which, you know, is kind of demeaning on both ends for voiceover talent. Like they're not good enough to be a YouTubers, but YouTubers aren't good enough to be voiceover talents. It's, it's, it's a never ending battle with the internet. Back to main subject, just wanting to do more things. What kills me every time is I'm not, I'm saying this on about the platform, not the audience or my audience. I feel like the platform as a whole punishes its creators when they're not doing what the algorithm wants them to do. So if I share a video that has nothing with the words Tumblr in it or tagged as memes or social media readings or anything like that, YouTube will punish me not only for that video, but Tumblr videos when I do them again, because I, I've, I've seen the, the views go down slowly. And you could also just chalk that up to maybe just lack of interest lately. That's fine. People grow out of things and that is totally understandable. But this has put me in a never ending cycle of 
doing the videos to fund a project that I'm also trying to get done, but I don't have the time to do the project because I'm doing the videos in order to keep financing the project, while also trying to get updates on a new location to continue doing the projects that I can't do because the place isn't available to me yet, and I still am trying to get it. Do you see how that fucks with someone's mind? I also feel like it's kind of tanked my life socially a little bit. Like I, I feel like my partner and friends I talk to online, like occasionally, and mainly it's just about work things is like the closest social interactions I get apart from the D and D stuff that I do with Andy and Amy and Etsy and Keston. But it's, it's hard. It's, it's really hard. Because I, I want all of this to succeed. I want to be able to have the time to do, continue doing things. And I also want to be able to afford a future for myself. Because I also think most people don't realize this, but I am 33. And that is a very awkward age to be at because you get different messages from different sides of the generation. Like, I can't believe you're at this age still trying to do this stuff. But also on the other end, oh, you're so young. You have plenty of time to do all these things and don't give up. That also really just fucks with a person mentally. Like, what do I believe? I know I should just form my own belief system, and I do. I, I think I'm still capable of doing all these things. But it gets really, really frustrating to see both ends all the time. Even when it's not even directed at me, it's like at another creator that's doing similar things years younger than me. Like just other like online readers that are probably in their 30s or late 20s and they're still like, I can't believe you're this old and you're still doing this. It... Yeah. <laughs> I also should clarify in this day and age that I am not like doing this for pity points or anything like that. I'm just telling you all this to let you know how things are going over here because I know sometimes it's easier to just, you know, leave things up to interpretation, just post the videos and walk away. But I, I know I do a lot of things. I get asked for a lot of updates. And I just want to let you guys know that's where I'm at right now. I am struggling, but I am still going. And I'm still going because I know I will eventually hit a finish line. That said, I thank you all for your time. I'm sorry this has been just, you know, a, a blank screen of probably the pink, something like that. Just do you want to, you know, have the bouncy PNG tuber or the little rabbit just to try to break the sincerity of this? I wanted this to be personal from me to you. I'm also sorry that it's very late at night, but I felt like this is the time of the day where I could feel the most honest. So I'll see you guys around. Tumblr video tomorrow. We'll go back to being funny. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.